I was lit. What's up, everybody? We are here. We are here. We're launching a new show on Swagger Magazine. I'm excited. If y'all don't know me, my name is Tahira Savannah. I'm one of your friendly writers. You probably see some of my posts. Uh, last month, I wrote about financial literacy. So hopefully you guys tuned in for that. We're in for fancy. She got two minutes to be up here, but I wanted to warm you guys up. Um, essentially, I'm going to start adding like indie artist music up here and stuff like that. But we're just testing, you know, just our first one back. We're using multiple devices, things like that. But you see, I got a background. What's up, you guys? Um, Live Hangouts uh, was a show I curated when I had moved out to Los Angeles. And I lived in a room by myself, basically. And I'm like, how do I connect with people? Because I feel very like, what? In Los Angeles, is very lonely, just like New York, where I'm from. Um, so I launched a program called Live Hangouts to essentially keep me close to all the creative people I used to be close to. <laughs> So um, we took a pause, a hard pause during the pandemic. A lot of people started going live. It was a lot of stuff to just pay attention to. So we took a break. But I'm back now. And I'm back with season two. And season two is opening in this month, March. And I'm bringing back all the guests that we had in season one. So it's let us see Fancy joining right now. So I'm about to add her in. Waiting for more of you guys. Go tell your friends that we're going to be up here. Okay. No, greetings. Hi. Look, one second. Let me see if I can add. Um, I can't. Last interview. You. Okay. Oh, and wait, I was it like, cut out, a, it cut out a little bit just now. Say it again. Oh wait. Your last interview? Um. Yeah, I just I had another interview earlier today, and I was dark throughout it, and I was wondering. All right. So we should be good. Greetings. You good now? Yeah. All right. Hey, girl. Hey, I'm going to just check the swagger side to see if I can keep the the um little pro graphic that we have. So one sec, you guys. I've been trying to warm everybody up. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So they don't allow you to do the, you can't do a asset if it's more than one person streaming, but we'll do the asset. I'm going to basically jump up here five minutes, ten to five minutes before to warm people up so they know. Oh, okay. welcome, you guys. This is Live Hangouts. I was saying before, we're launching one Swagger Magazine this season. But Fancy knows about it. She was a guest on my last uh, kind of go at this season one. Um, and we had a really good conversation. Like, I play our conversation a lot when I need motivation because I don't think I know any other Black female CEO in my, my age group that do the same thing oh. like writing. So you really are a help to, like, a lot of people. I'm going to say that here. Shout you out on your own brand. Thank but you. But it's, like, legitimately dope. And I know you go back and forth and feel like you know you don't know if you i'm like you're definitely doing the right thing <laughs> thank you that's most of the advice that we usually have when you come and be like i don't know you guys it's like you look fine it's like <laughs> <laughs> yes for sure but um yeah we're gonna jump into the interview we don't want to keep you guys streaming for too long like i said thank y'all so much for the hearts and everything this conversation is live right now we're going to keep it on the swag her side for like a day you guys will get the syndication here and we'll play we're going to remove it Add it into a blog post. You guys are going to get the full on thing because you guys are fans and you guys read. Blog post and it's going to split onto my brand and then stay also home to the swagger. So we're expanding our audiences. We're putting all our brands, cross branding is what they call it in the marketing world. But yeah, so if you miss it now or you know you guys like what you hear but you had to go, it's fine. It's going to be on replay. But we're going to get into it a little, little bit. You got the questions on your side, uh, Fancy? Um, not since I'm on my phone. I, I left my computer in the other room, girl. I'm okay, trying to say, okay. but, but you but you prepared to answer is one thing. Yes, I'm, yep. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Let me pull them up and get my life in order one second. I'm in the <laughs> wrong email. I'm like looking because I talked to you. I'm, I went to my writing email on my way. It's not that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Um. So yeah, yeah you guys, like I was saying before, my name is Tahira Savannah. I'm a lifestyle blogger. I contribute to Swagger Magazine. I've been contributing for how, how long you think now? Five years? Five years? Yeah. I was gonna say like that. Maybe five to seven. Yeah, maybe seven. It could be. Well, we've grown and you know what I mean? That's what this conversation is basically gonna be about. Um, so follow and find at Swagger Magazine and wait um for the when you guys see our live on Wednesdays at nine, that's how you know I'm going live with another guest. 
uh, Swagger is going to be hosting it. So you can go and follow, let's say, if you didn't follow Fancy already, you can follow her from this feed. You can follow me. That's how we're, like, expanding it. Uh, Live Hangers with I Let the Good Times Roll. That's me, presented by Swagger Magazine. Visit www.swaghermagazine to learn more about our brand, read more of our content. There's a lot of uh, directories and a lot of information, especially this is Women Empowerment Month. You guys should definitely tap in with what we got going on. My name is Tihira Savannah. I'm a lifestyle journalist and host. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms by just searching Tihira. I'm also a music artist under the name T-Slaves. Fancy is a owner and also a publicist in her personal time. I don't know how she finds time. <laughs> and for full disclosure on this episode, like we've said already, the owner of Swagger Magazine. Uh, happy Women Empowerment Month to you, girl. And let's get into the question. So the first one is, are you excited or overwhelmed about your future in business? Um, to be honest, I'm going to say I'm a little bit of both because of the economy right now, you know, mm -hmm. so like I'm excited, but I am kind of trying to be more mindful. It can, when you start like really looking at things like everything, the cost of everything, every service that we use has gone up. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that can be a little or overwhelming. But other than that, like, I feel really optimistic and we have some new things, you know, that we have planned. Yeah, one of them being the show. So I feel excited to be here. But yeah, <laughs> I, I feel the same way as an uh, entrepreneur, just like a person. Like, you know, some days I still wake up very, like, to hear I'm motivated, positive. But I still have that, like, this is a lot. I don't know what we're trying to do. Let's see. <laughs> like, you know, that's usually where I'm at at, like, 12 o'clock at night. Like, I don't know. We tried. Let's try again tomorrow. So I, right. I, that's why I threw that out there, just to try to kind of test. I'm sure that a lot of our viewers feel the same way. I know um, you guys know I'm big on metaphysical. I always check, like, what's going on in the world, the signs, the spiritual energy. That's what they said right now. We're in Pisces season. It's kind of like a lot of ups and downs, but you got to just hold on and keep, like, keep a little bit that you're doing and just take in everything. Yeah. That's how we all feel, right? You're not alone. All right, cool. Next one. As a Black CEO, what tools are most vital to you leading a team? Okay, so I would definitely have to say, like, when you say tools, um, I figured that you meant, like, the different platforms or whatever that we use. Mm -hmm. So um, the biggest thing would be Google Workspace because that is, like, that's basically all of our stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We use it for, of course, communications with everyone. But then also um, we're able to set up, like, our task sheet. Um, we store, all our, store and share all of our files through the Google Drive. So Google Workspace is really big. Um, I'm really big on Loom because that allows me to like actually video record um, the different things that I'm telling my team members that they need to do. And then yeah. WhatsApp is how we communicate, um, you know, or we're trying to communicate in real time or whatever. So those are the three that I would suggest. Oh, one last one. I have to say Keep because that is how um, we send out our, it's, it's kind of, it's a CRM and it does some of everything. You know, mm -hmm. you can do your invoicing. Um, you can send out newsletters, and so uh, you can on Google, pages. Google, Google Keep. Uh, uh, it's just Keep K E A P K E A P. Okay, got yeah, you. I actually have a, um, an affiliate link, so if you're interested, let me know. But it's really good to use. Okay, cool. So it sounds like as a CEO, the tools that you use are basically organizational. Yeah, for the main part, like you got to organize, talking to the team. All of us got to know certain things, but then some of us got to know some other things. And then just keeping yourself organized so you know, like, exactly what's going on. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, moving on. If you could write any check for yourself right now, keeping with the CEO mentality, how much would it be for? I would have to say at least a million dollars. At least. Um, that's a, <laughs> at least. You know, I was like, I don't want to, um, you know, do it too big, but oh, I need at least a meal. Like, yeah. Got you, got you. I usually say that to a million. Like, someone literally asked me that this week in working, like, one of my partners. And I'm like, I'm going to start throwing that question out to people, too. Because I really got stuff. And I'm like, a million? And he's like, that's it? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> well, I'm like, I, I don't want to, you know. Long. But yeah, no, I feel you. This is the same thing. For me, saying the million was really like, I'm just walling out here. Like, <laughs> but then the guy was like, that's very small in the scheme of the world. Like, people are earning trillions. So think, it is. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, add two more zero, 100 million. And <laughs> But that's why I ask other CEOs because we have to start thinking big because we're building teams and companies and other people got to eat underneath us. So, yeah, that's why I want to start asking. And that's a good point. Questions. Yeah. And in inflation, yeah, that's really true. But I said a million because I was just like, you know, just in case if somebody want to donate something, you know, let them know. I'm not, I'm not doing yeah. <laughs> A million dollars is a lot of dollars, girl. 
Let's not twist it, but it's America. So we could probably spend that in like three days, probably if we start investing. <laughs> all right, cool. So we said it before, but I'm wishing all of you guys tuned in. Happy March. It's Women Empowerment Month, Women History Month, however you want to call it. Um, Women History Month launched today is Wednesday, March 1st. Do you foresee any big changes for young women that can help guide them in like the right direction? Do you feel like we're moving through a new suffragette movement, maybe with the whole abortion thing or... <clears throat> now that question I actually I was wondering about that one because I did <laughs> think about the whole abortion thing and mm -hmm. one thing I've noticed like you know I have teenage daughters 19 right. and 17 right. they don't really have much interest in having kids mm -hmm. um, one of them like my 19 year old barely has an interest in even bothering with boys you know she just enjoys being with her friends right. and I'm like that's very different than what I you know how I was growing up Mm -hmm. Um, but also I think just seeing the whole girl boss movement, the CEOs, um, you know, I think that that's making kids more ambitious nowadays. So Absolutely. with that career in mind, that also could de maybe decrease, you know, the desire for motherhood. But I think motherhood is still just as important, you know, but just right. when it's right. Cause right. I was a teen mom. So you don't want to, you. to experience it too early. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I, I see the same thing. Like, I pay attention to a lot of what the younger generation does, Gen Z or even Generation Alpha or whatever. I used to be a teacher and just being around younger people. And, like, they really, as my grandmother would say, like, they have their head on in a different way than our generation did. I mean, we are leading that generation. So I think they learned a little bit from us too, being on Instagram and learning these tools and how they can make money and, and be focused a little bit in their – that they can get independence a lot earlier than I think we could. Like, I literally had to wait to 18 to ask my mom and dad stuff, whereas, like, nowadays – you could just hide stuff your parents don't even know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sorry to say that. You got kids, I don't. But just to say that, like, in the everyday life, it's like they have a lot of, they have cell phones that are access to the world. Like, you know what I mean? We didn't have that. That alone gives them empowerment. So um, I knew you had daughters, so I wanted to get your motherhood kind of response. So, yeah, that's cool. I see the same thing. Um, okay, cool. Moving along, keeping with the mom thing. Being a mom, what basic needs do you Tell yourself you must have for survival. So this is regarding you as an individual that is in charge of two other living people. What is your main, I can't do this, like my cup running over kind of thing? Uh, I have to have like peace and quiet, you know, like in time to myself, those things are very important to me. I have to have like just total quiet at times, whereas I just don't move or anything, you know, that's very important. Right. I notice. I'm like, sometimes my notifications be silent and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Like Girl, I, I I'm like, you're trying to not me. Oh. <laughs> but I understand that because I need to start kind of doing that too. Like, listen, I'm up, but I'm not here. So don't, you know, I've been trying to, maybe I would say I learned from a lot of you guys too, like watching, taking downtime, turn your phone off. Like, please don't even find it. Like, put it somewhere else and just go. Because I'm so creative and you're always, you know what I mean? When it's there, you don't even notice it. You burn out. I burn out myself a lot. So yeah. I, I, I actually just... did do not disturb <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I say. I just, um, I've gotten to the point now where I can put my phone down and really not even pay attention to, you know, to like where it's at, or there's yeah. really nothing on it that interests me anymore. Like social right. media just kind of getting to be, you know, but also boundaries. I think that that's something that that's very important as well, that I have to have, like, I have to sit and I also have to practice. Right, right. Okay. And you feel like, have there been times lately, I know the pandemic, a lot of our lives went just like haywire, where you weren't able to be at peace, or you like... Um, already just like listen i have to it's survival <laughs> uh no there were some there were some really bad times you know yeah um, especially with me being bipolar or something we've discussed you know mm -hmm. and i talk about openly but just like at one point when i got off my medication it was like really crazy you know for me okay. i really spiraled a lot throughout that time gotcha. but now that i'm on my medication like consistently it's been so much better yeah same. I just got a referral to go get back into therapy and it literally said on the paper like bipolar or whatever. I'm like, did you have to write my whole thing on this paper? <laughs> like, <laughs> what I mean, sometimes maybe we need to see it too. Like, girl, take it down like you need to ground yourself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's that that makes sense. Okay. Switching back to being a boss a little bit. Has it changed has it changed also well, has it changed the way your friends perceive you? That's the question. I think I wrote it a little wrong. But I know you've been growing as a boss. Like I say, I've been writing for you for seven years. So I know just as a worker underneath you that you've grown as a boss has your personal doesn't have to be friends it could be circles co-workers whatever else is not related to your brand how do those people look at you as fancy you know what i don't really i have a lot of online friends mm -hmm. but i don't have a close circle of friends so i really cannot say um but i think that you know like you've been 
been writing for me for a while. It's it's more so my circle, my closest circle is probably you guys. You know, the right. teams that I have. So, yeah. And, and drum and mail, of course. Yeah. And that makes sense. Like, I wanted to say, same like me, I, I cut off a lot of my, like, non-work-related circles. And it's just, like, I feel way more tunnel vision. And I think at the ages that we are, that we're, our CEOs, like, our businesses do need to be our best friends. That do need to be our circle. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't have free time like that to be chilling with people, especially that are not doing the same things that I do. Now, me and you are in the same town. You know, I go to New Orleans or Louisiana, I'm like, oh, we here, you know, it's different. But just to say randomly, like I say, coming from like college or, you know, you had a lot of other connections that don't really maybe fully serve where you're headed. So yeah. I, I've seen that with a lot of um, women. And I know a lot of people like, you know, we talk about it like in social media, whatever, but we never really talk about it. Like, how did you get to this point? So that's interesting that you said that most of the, like the writers are your main bestie. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I will say, I do think it is important for us to have, out, you know, relationships outside of outside. work and so on. So yeah. I'm not against it. It's just, I just don't think, I don't think I am where I'm supposed to be, you know, Period. like mm -hmm. in my surroundings or whatever, my environment. So I'm right. looking to relocate right. this year and I'm looking forward okay. to it. Congratulations. I mean, not, well, congratulations and good luck is what I wanted to say. That sounds good. You know what I mean? Um, and then we're coming to the end of our conversation because we keep it short and sweet here. We don't need guys to do too long. Favorite quote you saw last month for Black History Month? It could be a Swagger Magazine quote, anything, whatever. But Black History actually, Month just ended, so. I didn't actually see a quote. It was actually um, the post that I made about In the Heat of the Night. I really learned that so many people watched In the Heat of the Night. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was so cool, you know, because... Yeah. Like, everybody was kind of, like, reminiscing about watching it with their mom or grandparents, oh somebody yeah, yeah. their great-grandparents. <laughs> and, and I was just like, wow, because that was something I watched as a little girl in Mississippi. So I had no idea that, you know, people even on the West Coast would have watched In the Heat right. of the Night. I right. thought that was kind of cool. Oh, great. Very good. So, very good. We learned something new. It's like Black History Month was about that. People are like, what is it about? I'm like, learning new stuff. <laughs> Don't bring up Harriet Tubman. Don't bring up Martin Luther King. Find new people. So uh, thank you for saying that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, look, the 915 right on top. We finished right on time, girl. So thank y'all yeah. for tuning in. And some of y'all still coming now. No offense, you got to dip out. I got to dip out. But like we said, we're going to leave our conversation here. This is live Hangouts. We're going to be back every Wednesday with different guests having these kinds of conversations, just throwing things out there. If you guys want to hear us ask specific questions or you want to come live, just shoot us an email. Um, I'm at the T asterisk. I'll put it in the bio. And then we told you, you can go to www.swaghermagazine to check out all the rest of our writing and then contact us. Anything else you want to leave, leave behind? Miss Swagger Magazine? No. <laughs> That's it. Thank all you right. for hearing. Thank Bye you. Talk to you later. Bye.